Let us offer higher education as our war memorial. To honor those who took part in the great war. To the glory of those gallant fighters who came through. And to the memory of those devoted heroes who gave their lives in the cause of freedom. Now, every material asset a person possesses may flee. Education alone is an asset of which an individual cannot be robbed. of Leicester, educating and inspiring for a century. Our first two years at Leicester from 1960 were involved in studying X radiation from the sun. Our priorities changed dramatically in 1962 with the discovery of a bright source in the night sky. For the following few years, we flew rockets from Australia and found more than a dozen of these strange nighttime X ray sources. To find out what they were, we really needed a satellite. And then Aerial 5 came along and gave us that opportunity. And we were fortunate to find an incredibly bright source, the brightest ever seen, which subsequent observations have found to be a very good candidate of a stellar black hole. I was invited as a human osteologist to come down and get involved with a project that was looking for Richard, but was probably going to unearth the remains of a medieval friary. The thing that I think this project taught me more than anything else was about the humanity of Richard III. And what finding his skeleton let us do was to realize just how much more complicated the reality really is. When you're an archeologist, your work isn't always self-evidently exciting to the public but this gave me a real opportunity to work on something that people genuinely connected with, people genuinely wanted to know about, and that was a really rewarding experience. I came to Leicester in 1977. I just fell in love with the place. It was an atmosphere of complete academic freedom. The biggest breakthroughs in science are those that come completely unexpected. DNA fingerprint is a very good case in point. Science tries to get it right all too often gets it wrong. Your job is to try and sort it out. It was after a lot of false starts, completely by accident, we came up with our very first DNA fingerprint. So that was on the 10th of September, 1984. And that was a moment that changed my life. Our work is dedicated to discovering new ways of responding to hate crime. We live in a world where, sadly, levels of hate crime are escalating year in, year out. And what we do is that we try to provide the evidence to help those agencies respond more effectively to victims of hate crime. To discover everything that we possibly can about their experiences of hate crime, the emotional and physical harms of hate, and what they want to see in terms of a response to hate crime. So for me, that's the only way of ensuring that our research can genuinely make a difference.
Welcome to the University of Leicester Winter Degree Ceremonies for the College of Social Sciences, Arts and Humanities. The ceremony will begin when the academic procession enters the hall. Guests are permitted to take photos and videos, but are kindly asked to remain in their seats throughout the ceremony. Please ensure that any smart devices are in silent mode. You can share your photos and videos on social media using the hashtag LeicesterGrad. We hope you enjoy the ceremony, and on behalf of the University of Leicester family, a huge congratulations to our class of 2023. If you do not wish to shake hands with the presiding officer, please hold your brochure in your hands as you enter the stage. Please stand for the academic procession. Thank you. 
Our Chancellor, the Right Honourable Lord Willits, will now open the ceremony. Lord Mayor, graduates and guests, as Chancellor of the University and by the authority of the Senate and the Council, I declare this congregation open for the conferring of degrees on candidates both present and absent. A warm welcome to you all, and now please be seated. Please welcome Professor Nishan Kanagaraja, President and Vice-Chancellor. Lord Mayor, Chancellor, graduates, guests, my university colleagues. Welcome to the first degree ceremony, not just of the year, but of our new century as a university. As Vice-Chancellor, it is my proud honor to deliver the opening address to our first class of 2023. Last year, this university commemorated 100 years since it was founded as a symbol of hope for the future, following the devastation of the First World War. That hope is carried to this day through the lives we change. As our students progress through university and impact the world in their various careers, it is you that keeps that hope alive into the future. Today, we celebrate your success. Your success is a mark of achievement that provides a testament to your strength, your dedication, and your perseverance. The applause you receive today is richly deserved. It is a matter of great pride that you graduate today and become ambassadors of this university around the world. We also recognize today all of those who have supported you your families, friends, peers, tutors, professional services staff, all have played a part in your achievements. I look forward to congratulating you all through the course of this ceremony. Thank you. Chancellor, as Head of the College of Social Science, Arts and Humanities, I, Professor Henrietta O'Connor, present the following candidates for their degrees. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Shaza Al Mahdi. <laughs> Chimwemwi Chavinda. Carla D. Churchill Betts. <laughs> Cesare Cutuzla. <laughs> G. Sanhan. <laughs> Stanley Hardy. Amelia Henderson Roach. <laughs> Sophia Katharaki. <laughs> Paul Kavanagh. <laughs> Anna Kiprianu Spiliaku. <laughs> Tracy Logan. 
Congratulations. Jessica Martin. Congratulations. Blair Moskowitz. Alexander Murphy. Toril Scoton. Sagar Utam Sonawani. Nadine Tauchner. Anna Tuliak. Oluwa Baseu Wurarula. Stefania Zardini Lacciadelli. For the degree of Doctor of Education, Annabelle Larson. For the degree of Master of Education, Rosie Peaches Coltman. Congratulations. Charlotte Findlay. Congratulations. Anna Hughes. Congratulations. Gavin Jones. Congratulations. Volatsara Morgan. Congratulations. Olivia Perkins. Adam Syed. Congratulations. Well done. Harriet Willis. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Research in History, Megan Hunt. Congratulations. Well done. Isabella Ward. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Laws, Sadia Binte Saikunda. Vidant Gupta. Sophia Hajifessa. Stephen Standing. Petra Stoyanova. Fatima Tayyab. For the degree of Master of Laws in Employment Law, Omarinsola Adisanwo. Congratulations. Well done. Beverly Borkowski. Congratulations. Well done. Martin Brooks. Congratulations. Well done. Morgan Cogger. Congratulations. Well done. Liam Giles. Congratulations. Nick Holmes. Lusanugu Keala. Edina Kerestesh. Holly Lloyd. Veronica Pickford. Lucinda Price. Congratulations. Well done. Reese Stevens. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Laws in International Business and Corporate Law, Mohamed Salah Boyan. Congratulations. Well done. Fortune Alewa. Congratulations. Well done. Joseph Mujares. Omalara Uluwaniji. Chanel Awusu. Taran Veer Segu. S. Tanusha Sivanensen. Chibuikam Uduozo. Congratulations, well done. Lubna Zaman. 
Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Laws in International Commercial Law, Uditi Sheikh. <laughs> Fadila Amudu. Congratulations. Well done. Bashir Makdam. Congratulations. Hazrina Majani. Congratulations. Well done. Chintan Mehta. Congratulations. Well done. Victor Orchija. Congratulations. Well done. Omar Sarper Sino Oglu. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Laws in International Human Rights Law, Jennifer Dudson. Congratulations. Well done. Huma Khan. Congratulations. Sophie Lees. Congratulations. Well done. Christina Rashuga. Congratulations. Well done. Karen Deep Sangira. Congratulations, well done. Cassandra Silcott. Congratulations, well done. Shu Zheng Soon. Congratulations, well done. For the degree of Master of Laws in International Law, Rakath Al Samiki. Congratulations, well done. Macy Fernandez. Congratulations. Abigail Houghton. For the degree of Master of Arts in Applied Linguistics and TESOL, Muna Al Amri. Ali Yu Kali. Andrew Rocheford. Ahmad Salah Adin Mohammed Marous. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in Art Museum and Gallery Studies, Isabel Cook. Congratulations. Well done. Shenju Fu. Congratulations. Well done. Wing Yan Li. Congratulations. Well done. Hajia Lu. Rachel Nosworthy. Baizu Shi. Jingji Sun. Luqi Wen Yang. Zheng Wang. For the degree of Master of Arts in Digital Media and Society, Abdullah Saifik Ahmad. Congratulations. Well done. Vanna Mahish Parvat Gosai. Congratulations. Well done. Akansha Messi. Congratulations. Well done. Krishna Lalit Kumar Mehta. Arsalan <laughs> Mohammed. Congratulations. Well done. Jingzi Wu. Congratulations. Well done. Cheng Chi Yang. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in Diplomatic Studies, Sapiwi Dalamini. For the degree of Master of Arts in Global Media and Communication, Chi Fu. Mi Gao. Jing Han. Shi Yun Peng. Jay Ren. 
Congratulations. Well done. See you, Song. Congratulations. Well done. Iris Vetstein. Congratulations. Well done. Jing Yi Zhu. Congratulations. Well done. Okay. <laughs> 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 For the degree of Master of Arts in Heritage and Interpretation, Elizabeth Carney Marsh. Congratulations. Well done. Kaya Peters. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in History, John Conway. Congratulations. Well done. Gerswak Jakku. Congratulations. Well done. Russell Smith. Congratulations. Well done. Lewis Stanhope. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in History, Urban History, Thomas Newton. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in Human Rights and Global Ethics, Emily Benson. Megan Brown. Well Soraya Jagot. Well Shania Kevin. Well Peace Isiagbi Osage. Congratulations. Well done. John Henry Phillips. Congratulations. Well done. Louis Preston. Congratulations. Well done. Jessica Smith. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in Intelligence and Security, Lindsay Armour. Congratulations. Well done. Simon Ball. Congratulations. Well done. Jane Halderstein. Congratulations. Well done. Nigel Howard. Congratulations. Well done. Amber Hughes. Congratulations. Well done. Christian Jenkins. Congratulations. Well done. Saloma Munogui. Georgia Parry. Nicholas Rauger. Rachel Roberts. David Saunders. For the degree of Master of Arts in International Education, Marsha Foster. Congratulations. Well done. Susan Walter. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in International Education, Brackets, Innovation and Reform, Kwajo Opong Mensa. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in International Education, Pedagogy, Menekshi. Congratulations. Well done. Jessica Thornycroft. For the degree of Master of Arts in International Relations, Mohammed Saad Khalid. Samuel Taylor. Rebecca Wright. For the degree of Master of Arts in International Relations and World Order, Hanan Abdullah. Congratulations. Well Saeed Al Samiki. Congratulations. Well done. Charlotte Cleary. Congratulations. Well done. Innocent Mvandula. For the degree of Master of Arts in International Security Studies, Andrea Alvarez Lamas. Congratulations, well done. 
Charlie Davis. Congratulations, well done. Katie Holland. Congratulations, well done. Benita Jadav. Congratulations, well done. Oscar Rohde. Congratulations, well done. Shuhei Sekiguchi. Congratulations, well done. Harry Turvey. Congratulations, well done. Timothy Wesley. Congratulations, well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in Mass Communications, Yi Jin Pang. Congratulations, well done. Vidya Vinat Bashir. Congratulations. The degree of Master of Arts in Media and Advertising, Anushri Kishore Bagwi. Congratulations. Well done. Joshua Dybol. Congratulations. Yeah. Wei Cheng Mao. Congratulations. Well done. Jing Nan. Congratulations. Well done. Sini Kim. Congratulations. Well done. Thanmarporn Thamma. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Arts in Media and Public Relations, Abdulaziz Alkani. Congratulations. Well done. Genevieve Bedell. Congratulations. Well done. Eloise Cowan. Congratulations. Well done. Lu Ying Gao. Congratulations, well done. George Harrington. Congratulations, well done. Putri Afika Mohammed Fauzi. Congratulations, well done. Rushali Natarajan. Congratulations, well done. He Wing Pang. Congratulations. Well Ro Heng Wee. Congratulations. Well done. Shu Ting Wu. Congratulations. Well Dan Yang. Congratulations. Well For the degree of Master of Arts in Media, Culture and Society, Charlotte McGlashan. Congratulations. Alice Sherwood. Congratulations. Well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in Museum Studies, G. Fei Bao. Congratulations. Emma Bonzo. Congratulations. Well done. Kirsty Cabo. Congratulations. Well done. Yu Shan Chang. Congratulations. Isabel Calasos Gotret. Congratulations. James Crawley. Congratulations. Well done. Katrina Ferguson. Congratulations. Well done. Alison Fitzpatrick. Congratulations. Well done. Muskan Gandhi. Congratulations. Well done. Victoria Green. Congratulations. Well done. Sarah Hall. Congratulations. Well done. George Holman Brown. Congratulations. Well done. Gray May Shu. Congratulations. Well done. Kaori Carmade. Congratulations. Well done. Gary Keenan. Congratulations. Harriet Kerridge. Congratulations. Nicola Lee. Congratulations. Well done. Man K. My King. Congratulations. Well done. Rachel Podber Kennison. Congratulations. Well done. Rebecca Pressler. 
Congratulations. Shi Wen Yi. Congratulations. Dale Sindel. Congratulations. Sophia Sereno. Congratulations. Molly Stock Jewadoff. Congratulations. Inessa Sulaj. Congratulations. Severine Toyon. Congratulations. Ayaka Umutani. Congratulations. Sarah Vero. Congratulations. Lucas Weinman. Lily Westcott. Congratulations. Paige Worrell. Congratulations. Ching Yin Yan. Congratulations. Ju well Yu. For the degree of Master of Arts in Security, Conflict and International Development, Charles Parker. Congratulations. Anya Roberts. For the degree of Master of Arts in Socially Engaged Practice in Museums and Galleries, Fela Buggy. Sally Gordon. Amy Stone. Chancellor, as public orator, I present Lem Sise, a candidate for an honorary degree. Lem Sise is one of Britain's leading poets. He has published several volumes of his own work, has edited anthologies, and appears often on radio, television, and YouTube. Lem has been a member of many judging panels for literary awards, including the Booker Prize. His verses can be seen on buildings all over Britain and have formed part of music concerts, including the BBC Proms. Last month, he was interviewed by Sally Phillips for the BBC to talk about what Christmas meant to him. He sees Christmas as an opportunity for each of us to be the best person we can be. In 2013, he founded The Christmas Dinners, a national network of volunteers who give dinner and presents to care leavers aged 18 to 25 of all races who might otherwise be unable to celebrate Christmas on the day itself. Why this particular focus? because Lem is himself a care lever, one of those people who have lived not with a family, but with the state in loco parentis, in what we call the care system. At the age of 12, his foster family placed him into care. He then spent six years in children's homes. No one hugged him. Christmas was not a good time. At 16, a social worker seemed determined to show him that someone did love him. He gave him letters from his mother, pleading for his return, and his birth certificate, which revealed a name he had never heard before, Lem Sise. Up until this point, he thought his name was Norman Mark Greenwood. From the birth certificate, he learned the name of his Ethiopian mother. Three years later, at 21 years of age, he found her in West Africa. She had fled Ethiopia in the mid-1970s via her work with the United Nations. There had been no intention of his being apart from her forever. He was less than 12 months old when she asked for his return. Incomprehensibly, the social worker of the time blocked her request. 
It took several more years for Lem to trace his wider family, as can be seen in the BBC documentary Internal Flight of 1995. In 2015, the head of Wigan Council found the files which had been written about Lem and sent them to him. They are a weekly record of the first 18 years of his life. In lieu of family, these were all the relativity he had with his childhood, all written in the main by strangers to him. On receiving the files, he took the government to court to answer to the evidence that he had been stolen from his mother at birth, that he had had his name stolen, that he was placed with inadequate foster parents, that he was imprisoned unlawfully as a child. There followed three years during which a gruelling psychologist's report was written about him for the purpose of the case. The report detailed the trauma and the repercussions upon his psychology. Unable to face hearing the, the report alone, he produced a piece of theatre, and within a week he was on stage at the Royal Court to a sell-out crowd. It was called The Report at the Royal Court. Julie Hesmondhoff played the psychologist and read the report to Lem on stage. The audience heard the results for the first time at the same time as Lem heard the results for the first time. It was a unique form of verbatim theatre. The government settled out of court in July 2018, which is precisely when Lem started work on his autobiography. Within a year, in 2019, Canongate Gate Books published his Sunday Times number one prize-winning memoir, My Name is Why, within which are exact replicas of the files. In the recent BBC interview, when he is asked whether poetry was his salvation, he hesitates and replies that to say that would be to belittle poetry. It's bigger than me, and it's bigger than my story. Poetry is at the heart of who we are. His performances, like his speeches and written poems, change lives. People write to him to say that his words have inspired them to act, to donate to charity, to give of their time to others, to think differently. In recent years, a more lyrical note has come into his poems, though he is certain there is still a need to protest. But his kindness and determination to help others in difficulties have shone a light in the darkness of our times. On Christmas Day 2017, he was given a Points of Light Award for the Christmas dinners by the then Prime Minister, Theresa May. At this university in 2018, he delivered a memorable creative writing annual lecture. For over a decade, he has been a patron of the Letterbox Club, founded in 2003 by this university's School of Education in partnership with Book Trust, which gives books and stationery to children in care and, crucially, carries on giving when they move between institutions or addresses. Lem uses his public profile to campaign nationally for improvements to the care system. In 2015, he was elected as Chancellor of the University of Manchester. In that role, he launched law scholarships for diverse applicants. In 2019, he was awarded the Penn Pinter Prize by Penn, the International Writers' Association. This is given to an author who, quote, casts an unflinching, unswerving gaze upon the world and shows a fierce intellectual determination to define the real truth of our lives and our societies, unquote. In 2021, he was made an honorary fellow of Jesus College, Cambridge, and in a few days' time, he will be made a freeman of the City of London at the Guildhall in the city. During the pandemic, the Duchess of Cambridge, now Her Royal Highness the Princess of Wales, chaired an editorial group which included Lem. They chose the winning selections for a volume of photographs entitled Hold Still, a Portrait of Our Nation, to raise money for the National Portrait Gallery and the mental health charity Mind. Lem's services to literature and to charity had already been recognised in 2010 with the national honour of an MBE. In 2021, this was raised to an OBE. These are just two in a long list of honours and awards. Today, we celebrate his, tower, his towering achievements in poetry and the difference that his charity work and his words have made to children and therefore to us all. Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and the Council, I present Lem Sisse that you may confer upon him the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters.
Thank you. It's, uh, it's good to do a selfie, right? That's a good thing. <laughs> to get the selfie, to get the moment, to get it kind of, to get the moment, to get it captured, to get it held somewhere, somehow, for somebody. Somebody will look at that picture at some point and, and uh, find some bridge to this moment, to them, whoever they are, and to me. Kind of triangle thing going on, kind of the moment, me, and whoever it is in the future that looks at that picture, and it means something to them. The selfie. I mean, the selfie's never really alone, is it? You know, it's for... Uh, it's to connect, and um, I, I don't, I don't, I, my mum's not here, she, I've only met her four times, never met my dad, met my brothers and sisters twice, three times in my entire life, they're not here to witness, and, um, and I'm okay with that, it's okay, life, life is what it is, but you are carrying your parents inside you and their parents and their parents' parents and all of the generations that have gone before you. You have put in so much work to get to this singular point. It is worth remembering and worth knowing that you carry all of them inside you, wherever they are in the world. If you're the first person in your family to get a degree, you're carrying them with you. If you're the next person in the family to be here uh, to, 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 to get your uh, degree or to graduate, then you're carrying the family story. We're all about stories. That's all we are. That's what a selfie is. That's what the recording of this is. That's what your mum and dad are saying. Or uh, 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 when, 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 when they tell you about this moment. It's all about story and you're an incredible part of that. And this moment matters. The work you've put in matters to them. Maybe even more you know, to them. Just as much as it does to you. Even if they're not here to be able to see it. You're creating memories. Uh, in my mind, for family, and that's also the family that aren't here, that can't be here to see you. You will have called home while you were... That was a fantastic yawn, by the way. Somebody was just looking at me. I swear she was... She went, oh, oh, oh. But you went out, you probably went out last night, didn't you? <laughs> to celebrate. And it's a long deal, but it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. My ego can take it. <laughs> and it wasn't personal. It actually had nothing to do with me, did it? It's so easy to take offense. So easy to find a reason why you have been on the outside when in fact that had nothing, nothing, nothing to do with it, to do with me. Um, uh, I, I am, I am, I am, I'm really honored to be here. I'm here because of the Letterbox Club and Rose Griffith here and the, the University of Leicester who get books to children in care. Um, congratulations for all of the work that you've done. So, some of you will have called home and you'll have said you're all right when you weren't all right. You've studied through the pandemic, one of the hardest times in, in living history for the rest of your life, and you did it. How good are you? All I had to do was nothing. You're incredible. It's an honor to be here amongst you and with you. And thank you uh, to the university. Thank you, Chancellor. Thank you, Lord Mayor, Vice-Chancellor. Uh, it's an honor to be part of Team Leicester. Do I go back? Do I do enough time?
President and Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the College of Social Sciences, Arts and Humanities, I, Professor Krista Kalman, present the following candidates for their degrees. For the Master of Arts in TESOL, Wen Chan He. Arda Yilmaz. For the degree of Master of Science in Crime, Justice and Psychology, Daylin Brum. Isabella Sedano. Congratulations, Isabella. Shaloi Duncan. Congratulations, Shaloi. Catherine Gajetta. Congratulations, Catherine Gajetta. Ellen Howells. Congratulations, Ellen. Aileen Kazan. Wyling Kwok. Congratulations, Wyling. Cleo Mosley. Congratulations, Cleo. Well done. Anna Pearson. Congratulations, Anna. Sarah Salarin. Congratulations, Sarah. Well done. Molly Squire. Congratulations, Molly. Hannah Waters. Congratulations, Hannah. Well done. Olivia Whitworth. Congratulations, Olivia. For the degree of Master of Science in Criminology, Christy Dazel. Congratulations, Christy. Well done. Elias Hajisabas. Congratulations, Hannah. Well done. Magdalena Koshun. Congratulations, well done. Chloe Shepherd. Congratulations, Chloe, well done. Kimberly Squires. Congratulations, Kimberly. For the degree of Master of Science in Criminology in Practice, Damiano Fricina. Congratulations, Daniel. Well done. Nikita Joshi. Well done, Larampari Kual Ring. Congratulations, well done. Imogen May Chin. Congratulations, Imogen. Lewis Rich. Congratulations, Lewis, well done. Iram Shuta Ulo. Congratulations, Shuta well done. Amy Salabas. Congratulations, Amy. Well done. Yu Jin. Congratulations, Yu Jin. Well done. For the degree of Master of Science in Museum Studies, Hin Yan Wu. Congratulations. Well done. All right. For the degree of Master of Science in Security and Risk Management, Michael Gardner. For the degree of Master of Science in Social Research, oh, sorry. For the degree of Master of Science in Educational Leadership, I apologize, my script got jumbled. For the degree of Master of Science in Educational Leadership, Ibtital Abrahani. Julie Cassiano. Congratulations, well done. Becky Ayoke. Congratulations, Becky, well done. Matthew Pierce. Congratulations, Matthew, well done. For the degree of Master of Science in Security and Risk Management, Michael Gardner. Congratulations, Michael. Michael Goldsmith. 
Nadia Lesner. Well done. Nadia Lesner. Well done, Nadia. Congratulations. Ibrahim Madawaki. Congratulations, Ibrahim. Zikail Weeks. Congratulations, well done. For the degree of Master of Science in Social Research, Emily Adams. Congratulations, Emily. Well done. Philippa Rose. Congratulations, Philippa. For the degree of Master of Science in Social Science Research, Danielle Shepherd. Congratulations, Danielle. For the degree of Master of Science in Terrorism, Security and Policing, Fareed Chowdhury. Rebecca Cullen. James Green. Congratulations, James. Well done. Keris Jones. Congratulations, James. Well done. Samuel Jones. Well done, Daniel. Congratulations. Helene Kaur. Congratulations, well done. Jack Overacorn. Congratulations, Jack. Well done. Lamine Saidi. Congratulations, well done. Erica Vella. Congratulations, Erica. Well done. For the postgraduate diploma in criminology, Jacinta Akinlade. Congratulations, well done. For the postgraduate diploma in employment law, Nasha Taravinga. Congratulations, well done. For the postgraduate diploma in heritage and interpretation, Joanna Fitzpatrick. Congratulations, Joanna. Well done. For the postgraduate diploma in human rights and global ethics, Catherine Saunders. Congratulations, Catherine. Well done. For the postgraduate diploma in museum studies, Sally Willett. Well done, Sally. Congratulations. For the postgraduate diploma in security and risk management, Jordan Crown. Congratulations, Jordan. Well done. Christopher Lightfoot. Congratulations, Christopher. Well done. For the postgraduate certificate in education, SCIWT, Kate Bonzido. Congratulations, Kate. Well done. Kerry Khan. Congratulations, Kate. Well done. Emma Cochram. Well done, Emma. Congratulations. Amy Fox. Congratulations, Amy. Nicola Noble. Congratulations, Nicola. Rebecca Simpson. Well done, Rebecca. Congratulations. And Millie Stokes. Congratulations, well done. For the postgraduate certificate in education, secondary, Chanel Damija. Congratulations, Chanel. Well done. For the postgraduate certificate in criminology, Jibben Rennie. Congratulations, well done. For the postgraduate certificate in education international, Laura Ionla Roska. Congratulations, Laura, well done. For the postgraduate certificate in intelligence and security, Rachel Cuppertston Hall. Well done, Rachel. Congratulations. For the Postgraduate Certificate in Learning Technologies, Andrew Gully. Well done, Andrew. Congratulations. For the Postgraduate Certificate in Mass Communications, Esogeni Agomi. Congratulations, well done. For the Postgraduate Certificate in Media and Advertising, Chris Nee Okan Odmitten. For the Postgraduate Certificate in Museum Studies, Vanessa Price. For the Postgraduate Certificate in TESOL, Meet Washeth. 
congratulations. Well done. For the Postgraduate Certificate in Education Primary, Elliot Hogg. Well done. For the Professional Graduate Certificate in Education, SCIWT, Kimberly Dow. Congratulations, Kimberly. Well done. And Joanne Parnaby. For the Professional Graduate Certificate in Education Secondary, Gatika Sayitha Silan. For the degree of Bachelor in Laws, Kenza Afnok. Rex Akujobi Roberts. Lydia Bradbury. Congratulations, Lydia. Well done. Kirat Duharda. Congratulations, well done. Nuhaji Samani. Congratulations, well done. Cleo Kalu. Congratulations, well done. Evita Constantino. Congratulations, well done. Sandish Kumar. Congratulations, well done. Amrita Lander. Congratulations, well done. Hisan Mahmood. Congratulations, well done. Joshua McCauley. Harry Newbury. Well done, Harry. Congratulations. Raja Muhammad Rizwan. Congratulations, well done. Well Chloe Tribe. Congratulations, well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law with a Modern Language, Anna Mutter. Congratulations, Anna. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law with Criminology, Esther Mungay. Well done, Esther. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law with Criminology with a Year Abroad, Alexandra Devro. Falkan Ilikena. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Contemporary History, Ekantarita Bellu. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Contemporary History with a Year Abroad, Lewis Carter. Congratulations, Lewis. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History, Lauren Kelly. Congratulations, Lauren. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History and Politics with a Year Abroad, Amy Garrett. Congratulations, Amy. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in International Relations, Safia Abdallah. Organitaya Erhumo. Congratulations, well done. Ibrahim Gadeen. Congratulations, well done. Hagi Sanko. Congratulations, well done. Alicia Suman. Congratulations, Alicia, well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in International Relations and History, Morgan Peters. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Media and Communication, 
Eliza Donnelly. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Salman Fazel. Lena Gabari Singh. Congratulations, well done. With a degree of Bachelor of Arts in Politics and Economics, Subhan Rajput. Congratulations, well done. With a degree of Bachelor of Arts in Politics and International Relations, Benedicta Afua Samoa. Kulsam Hafoji. Congratulations, well done. Humera Hussein. Congratulations, Humera, well done. Falcon Ilinkina. Congratulations, well done. Saluk Lejaman. Congratulations, well done. Anastasia Lewoyan. Well done, Anastasia. Basil Malik. Congratulations, well done. Emilia Marufu. Congratulations, Emilia. Oluwatobi Olatunde. Congratulations, Olatobi. Ewan Osebadu. Well done, Ewan. Elisa Turk. Congratulations, Elisa. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, Jana Jerikayova. Congratulations, Jana. Well done. Jodie Hibbert. Congratulations, well done. Georgia Martha Hoare. Congratulations, well done. Thomas Morgan. Congratulations, Thomas. Well done. And Harrod Potts. Congratulations, Anna. well done. Abby Rouse. Congratulations, Abby, well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Criminology, Bevelin Achimpong. Congratulations, well done. Stefania Akinsanya. Congratulations, well done. Bradley Allsop. Congratulations, well done. Well done. Reese Barnes. Congratulations, Reese. Well done. Iman Bayoku. Congratulations, Iman. Well done. Jumia Chapman. Congratulations, well done. Mohammed Malik. Well done, Norma. Congratulations. Courtney Nash. Congratulations, Courtney. Richard Abisanya. Congratulations, Richard. Lucy Saruk. Congratulations, Lucy. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Law, Rosie Channer. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Politics and Economics, Fatima El Garami. Well done, Fatima. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Arts in International Relations and World Order, Asma Al Mansouri. For the degree of Master of Arts in Media and Public Relations, Bayoi Lin. Congratulations, well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in TESOL, Luke Statham. Congratulations, Luke, well done. For the degree of Master of Science in Terrorism, Security and Policing, Emmanuel Apong. Congratulations, Emmanuel. Well done. You made it. <laughs> For the Diploma of Higher Education in History with Sociology, Shayan Augusti. Congratulations, Shayan. Well done. 
for the degree of Master of Arts in Intelligence and Security, Nayan Almansori. And for the degree of Master of Laws in International Commercial Law, Udit Agawal. Rhiannon Jenkins, President of the Students' Union, will now address the congregation. First of all, congratulations, you made it to the big day. Graduation is all about tradition. It's the gown and hats, the ceremony and speeches. But take away all the pomp and circumstance, and you are left with the most important thing of all, you and your achievement. Today is about you and the hard work it took to get here, the presentations, the dissertations, the labs and tutorials, the trips to David Wilson, meetings with your supervisor, your Starbucks order, which might have been the only thing that got you through the day. All those moments have led to this one, where you're able to sit back and finally celebrate. This might have been your first time in Leicester, maybe even the country, or you might be from just up the road. Wherever your journey started, I hope you can now say you're happy that the University of Leicester was part of it. It's where you've made friends for life, had housemates you love, had housemates who never did the dishes, course mates and teammates. Here you found your feet, your confidence and yourself. And that's who you get to go out into the world as, a proud member of our alumni community. So amidst all the free fizz and cake, take the time today to remember all the little things that got you here, the loved ones who supported you along the way, and hold tight to the fact that you've achieved something brilliant and deserve to enjoy the moment. You've walked across the stage without falling over, and everyone knows that's the hardest part. So you're ready to leave this hall a graduate, Confident in the knowledge that you got yourself here and can face anything that comes your way. So congratulations again, stay warm and enjoy the day. Well done, you made it. Today you have done much more than simply walk across a stage. You have transitioned. For some it is from undergraduate to graduate. For the others it is from graduate to postgraduate. And there are those amongst you who have gained yet further postgraduate credentials. All of you have gained much more than postnomials after your name. A degree from the University of Leicester is more than a certificate. Today, you become ambassadors for the University of Leicester, carrying our values wherever you go. You transition from student to graduate or postgraduate is a remarkable journey that speaks to your talent, ambition, and dedication, as well as the investment made by others in your success. So now may be an apt moment to reflect on that journey that brought you here and how you're now empowered to, for the journey ahead. Because education is empowering and it is transformative. Through education, you open your mind to new possibilities, new thinking and new learning. You carry with you the possibility of a new tomorrow. I would like to pay tribute at this juncture to I am in an honorary graduate, Lem Sase, whose distinguished credentials were so eloquently described by our public orator. He's a fantastic inspiration to all of us. Overcoming adversity, achieving success, giving, it to, giving to others. He has used his roles in life for public good and he continues to act as a role model through the power of the spoken and written word. If I may impart to you a message about the value of higher education, I need look no further than Lem Sese and the values he represents of commitment, compassion, 
and inclusion. And carry with you, wherever you may be, the values of justice, equity, and fair play. And our university values of being inclusive, inspiring, and impactful. The measure of your success is not what you have achieved for yourself, but the good you do for others. That is the true value of education. And you can use it to be an agent for change and making the world a better place. And of course, the world of work is changing at a dramatic pace. Jobs and careers that were in place for generations of our, for our forebears have been given way to new disciplines and new careers. New horizons and new opportunities await you. You are equipped with transferable skills like problem solving, critical thinking, creativity, innovation, and leadership in order to enter this world and add value. You too can make a difference. All of us here certainly do, and that is why we applaud you on your achievements. Can I now ask everybody to give a big round of applause for our class of 2023. Thank you. May I now ask the graduating class of 2023 to show your support. Thanks for all those who supported you, those who are here today, and those who are watching it online, wherever in the world, for their part, the part they played in your success. Honored guests, graduates, and members of the university. I would like to take this opportunity to give thanks and pay tribute to our distinguished chancellor, Lord Willets, whose term of office as chancellor of this great university comes to an end, and he steps down next month. He has presided over his final degree congregation this morning, and it is our great pleasure to give thanks to him for his great service, guidance, and leadership. His links with Leicester will continue, and in his capacity as chair of the UK Space Agency's board, he's a strong advocate for growth, development, and success of the UK's world-class space economy, which Leicester is known to be a world leader. I now would like to invite Lord Willets to accept a small token of our appreciation for his dedicated service to this university. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was American writer Sue Mong Kidd who said, one of the most, more powerful outbreaks of happiness and meaning in your life will occur when you pair your passion with the world's needs. Graduates of the University of Leicester, the world needs you. I encourage you to rise to meet its needs with your passion and your intellect. Treasure this moment. It is a landmark in your life. Enjoy your day with your family and friends. And remember that you are a part of this university for life. So keep in touch through our alumni network that is spread around the world. I wish you every success. Thank you very much. Graduates and guests, please be upstanding for the final time in this ceremony. Before I formally conclude the ceremony, let's give a rousing applause 
to our class of 2023. I now declare this congregation closed.